Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. You finally want to dabble on some option trading, huh? You think you'll 10x your money overnight because you watched some ads with a guy flexing his money and luxury car, right? Well, let me get you started then. But fair warning though, when you're just starting out, you're going to lose money. I can guarantee you that option trading is risky since it can magnify your losses. So never ever trade with your emergency fund or money that you need. It's easy to buy a option call, but the most important part is actually closing the call option. Sometimes beginners don't know about that and they end up with 100 shares of the stock that they really don't care for. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to actually buy a call option and also showing you how to close or sell the option later so you can simply make the money and not have to worry about uh, the option expiring. Basically have an exit strategy in place. I mean, you can let it expire if you want and if that's your plan, but if you have a plan, you're probably not watching this beginner video about call options. But first things first, you'll want to get approved for Webull's options trading, then you can start trading option. I have videos on that if you'd like to check that out. And if you don't have Webull yet, don't forget that if you sign up with them, you'll get two free stocks that could be valued up to $2,300. It's basically free money. So with that being said, let's jump onto the Webull app and get started. Now, first things first, uh, find a stock that you want to trade options on. Now, not every single stock supports options trading. So now just find the one that you want. So, but for this example, I'm going to be using Palantir. So take your symbol PLTR to do the buy and sell. So I'm going to click on that and it'll bring me up to this chart. And if you pan over to options on the right side, you'll see the option chain. Now, if you minimize the little thing on the arrow, you'll see all the expiration dates. So three days, 10 days, 17 days, 24 days, and so forth. Just choose the one that you want the option to expire. Uh, you want something short, three and 10 days will be ideal. But if you want something long, then you could do for those 100 days or so. So I'm going to click on uh, three days, just expand it out. And you'll see the strike on the left, the bid, ask, last, uh, percent change, mid. And now if you don't see this in this order, that's totally fine. Everything is customizable. So click on the bottom right uh, where there's like this uh, switch icon. So just click on it and I'll take you to this screen and you could change the number of strikes you see. So currently I'm looking at 20 and then also like on the bottom there's columns. So that's where you could change it. So you could drag the last price to ask price with these three bars. Uh, let me see if I drag it. So you can switch it here, put it here, here, anywhere you want. Just scroll down and then find the ones that you want. And then after that, just click save. I'll just save it. And if you go back, you'll see uh, your strike bid ask and all that stuff. So uh, for this example, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I want something that's in the money so I could get in and out quick for this example. So currently I'm going to be looking at a strike price of a 24. So I'm going to be in the money because the current stock price is $24 and 76 cents. So if I click on that, so uh, first, let's, let me go over the bid and ask. So the bid is price is what the buyer is willing to pay. The ask price is what the seller is uh, willing to sell it at. And the last price is currently uh, that the trader was uh, 90, 95 cents. So basically in an option, there's a 100 uh, shares. So you have to multiply that by 100. So technically it's $95 to just to get in. And the mid price for this is 96 cents or another way to say it, it's $96. So if I click on the 24 strike price, and currently it's set on call, remember on the bottom there's calls. So make sure you set it on call and there's puts as well. But for this example, I'm gonna be doing call and then I'm gonna click on 24 and then I'll bring up this page. And now notice the break even is at uh, 24.97, right? So let me close this out. So it'll always go back to this ask price. So currently right now is 0.96 or 0.90, yeah, 0.96. So if I click on that, I'll just bring up to break even $24.96. So that's when uh, that stock price have to hit in order for you to break even. Uh, so I'm gonna go next. And then it'll bring to this page where you can actually adjust your price, your limit orders, uh, your buy or sell kind of uh, options. So now I'm going to hit buy because I'm actually going to buy a hundred uh, shares. Well, I'm not going to buy a hundred shares, but for this example, I'm just demonstrating you there. You could do a buy or a sell. So for a uh, 
order a type you just hit limit or if you want to go market that's up to you so usually i just set it at limit so i know that i'm only paying this much for this option so currently it's set at 96 cents but you notice that the ask price is at 0.95 if i set it at 0.95 it's going to execute anything above um, 0.93 right now it's 0.93 anything above the ask uh, price you'll always get it filled immediately so i'm going to just leave it there at 0.95 i know it's going to get filled so contract one so it's 100 shares time in force you could do day or good till cancel i'm going to just leave it till day and then notice on the bottom it says uh, estimated premium your debit meaning that you're gonna have to pay 95 dollars for this uh contract and then your uh and then everything is said if everything is confirmed just go hit buy and then it'll show up this final confirmation page when it, you want to confirm just hit confirm and it executed at 0.92 so I bought this option at 0.92. So basically $92 for this option. So let me back it out and then back it out again. And I'm gonna to go to my uh, account, the center icon, click that. And if I do, I'll see a Palantir options at $24 with a strike at 92 cents, my uh, average price. So currently right now, uh, I wanna go ahead and actually do a sell usually you'll want it to hold it a little bit longer because then you can see uh if i'm losing money or making money so currently right now i'm losing money just by uh looking at the open pnl so i'm gonna hit close to close it out so if i have to uh if i want to make money obviously that price has to be above the 0.92 so which is the 0.92 cents or 92 dollars for the option so close it out and then what i'm going to do is do a limit and then for the limit price if i want really wanted to break even i'll set at 0.92 so then i get a credit of uh, 0.92 if i really want to make money i'll just set it higher 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 to like let's say to 0.94 then in this way i make two dollars if it execute but in this way, I just want to break even and anything lower than that 0.89, I'll just basically lose money. So 0.92. So contract is one time in uh, time in force. Just do day and I'm going to hit, hit sell and see it. Let's see if it is executes. Usually it's not going to execute uh, because the um, the bid and ask there's you're a little bit lower. So I'm going to hit confirm. And it's going to be in a work in order. So it's working, it's pending until that uh, the uh, the, buy, the bid side reaches up to the 90 ish. It'll start executing, but I'll just leave it as is and hope this is helpful for you to understand the entire process. So I hope this helps you visually see how to buy and close a call option on the Weibo app. And because Palantir wasn't doing so good during that example, I ended up losing $5 on it. I ended up selling it at 0.87 because 0.92 was what I bought it at. I really didn't want to hold it anymore since it was just an example. And if you'd like to help me out, please hit the like button so I can afford making more trades like these just to show you the entire process of how it's done. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly uploads like these and I'll catch y'all later.